This needs a new home because the string got busted. No harm. So you know, I, I miss some of your columns. Did you ever did you ever solve your battery problem? Uh camcorder? Um not really. You gotta sign this for me if you want to get it. Yeah, I'll try to find some time to do that. I gotta get this stuff done and get some work done. I understand, I understand. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Now. Let's see. I guess if I get the camera down a little lower. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn the camera on the crowd. Which is better? Fuzzy logic or real circuits? Not fuzzy, right? Not fuzzy. Uh-uh. Okay. It's non-fuzzy. It's on but six operators. All right. Five operators. Now. Camera's pointing in the wrong place. Oh well. <laughs> I'm going to discard that part anyhow. Let me time it. 33, 35, 44. He's doing it in eight seconds, a little better than eight seconds. It's settling out in eight seconds, yeah. This one's nine, but I can't complain. That's sensing the, oh, it's the resistance. <laughs> <laughs> right, so that's the wiper. The current from here is the wiper. That's working good, in fact, it has never worked any better than this, which is good because I got the camera running. Okay, Professor Lee, beat that. <laughs> we will include some other stuff. We'll include some other pictures. We'll include some manual balancing. That's where they're in this case. It's uh, the guy up at uh, Berkeley. No, this is, this is Texas Tech. He was fuzzy logic. It took him a lot more time than this. The 486, 50 megahertz 486. It's exactly. I guess I'd probably try for a big process when it goes back. You still need an A to D in a gap. Behind the picture here is the uh, WaveTech yeah, square wave generator. Yeah. Two big power supplies. Have, uh, you see the. Balancing uh, servo. Mm -hmm. so they, have, they have a software loop and essentially create a one shot. And there's every time a one shot. Essentially, this resistance would be the external. Um, there's the servo <laughs> for the tilt. <laughs> there's the lead screw. There's a little motor. Motor doesn't even get warm. Uh -uh, might even warm. There's the ball on the two rails. The front rail has a half an ampere going through at 200 millivolts. This is a servo, the main loop servo with the four big mylar capacitors. This is the power amplifier with a nice warm power amplifier, LM3876. A couple of power supplies 
10 volts at a half an ampere and 20 volts at a little more than an ampere. These big processors in line three or four dollars. There is the schematic of the power amplifier servo. Here is the schematic of the main servo, which we'll put on paper for you. Can you position a ball on a tilting beam? Can you be replaced by a 50 megahertz 486? Can you, can you be replaced by an LN324? Oh, let's get this thing going. Ah, I just remembered. Manual servo. It's, it's working. That's good. Boy, that was about three seconds. That was pretty good. You can't do much better than that. Let's try it again. Well, that's really good, but it's not perfect. It's not perfect but that's okay. We did it very well once. Up the far end. Tilt. Get just a little sloppy, overstated. Controlling an integrator. 